it's Sweetie Pie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a brush review and I'm going to be talking about this brush kit from Sephora. It is their roll out set, roll in set. Just, just one moment. It is their ready to roll set and it contains 10 different brushes. They are all you know, made to do like a full face. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get this full face with just these brushes. This is an awesome deal. And I think that the reason why there's so many good reviews is because they really do give you like every brush you would need to do your full face besides like a sponge or a little powder puff. So yeah guys, if you're interested in this video, if you're interested in this brush kit, then stay tuned. It also comes with a really freaking gorgeous brush roll if you really wanted to keep them in here and it gives you space to keep a few extra of like you know something else that you like to use so first I'm just going to go into the the actual brushes themselves and um, I'll show you them and then we will get on to this beautiful makeup all right so let's the go the first brush we have in this brush kit is a powder brush it is a very large, very fluffy, soft powder brush. They all have the full size handles on them and I have washed these once before and I didn't have any shedding at all so that was really good. The second brush, which is probably one of my favorite brushes, is a little bit bigger domed brush. Old YouTube. And I love this. They call this the highlight and contour brush. This is a gorgeous blush, blush, brush for like setting under the eyes, doing your contour, doing your highlight, doing your blush. Like it can do so many things. The next brush we have is an angled brush. So good. It is like snowing so much out my window right now. It's so crazy. But yes, this is their angled brush. And again, chiseling, doing your blush. You can do like, you know, a little bit of chiseling on your nose if you want. I use this mostly for blush and bronzer, but like so many other things you could use it for. The next brush you have, which is the last, well, second to last face brush. This is the fan brush. This is a very good quality, kind of thick fan brush. It's a little bit thicker than like some of the other ones I've had in the past. Let's see if I can have, yes, here's an example. Now this seemingly looks the same type of thickness, but it's just, this one is cheaper and flimsier. This one has some thickness to it and it has like a little less movement to it than this one where you could pretty much squish this onto your face. Whereas this one, I feel like there's a little more bounce. Anyways, then the last one and the only brush in this entire set that I'm just not crazy about is the Sephora. This is their concealer brush and it is like one of those flat pal brushes. I did find something to use it for today, but I, I'm not crazy about this one brush. If I had to pick a brush, this would be it. Anyway, then you have your four eye brushes. The first brush they give you is a angled brush with a spoolie. This is a beautiful angled brush. I love, love, love it. It is very, very pointed. I think you could totally use this for eyeliner as well. And they give you a pretty good spoolie on the end as well. So this is your brows taken care of. I did my brows today with it. Then they give you a small blending crease brush. This is big enough to do pretty much all of your crease work. I think that if you are working darkest or lightest to darkest, you can use one crease brush and you should be good to do an entire eye look with besides the other two brushes that are in the kit. I think this is a really good blender brush. I think that it's fluffy enough but dense enough where, you know, it really does buff color out really well. I've been enjoying it. Then the last two brushes are, this one is their just eyeshadow brush, and this is kind of a packer brush. It's a smaller packer brush, but it's also dense. Like, it's pretty thick, and I really do like that because I think you can go on the underneath. I did my brows because I do my brows with a stencil, so I filled the brow in with the powder using this brush, and it worked really well. And then last but not least, they have their smudge brush. I do not like this brush for underneath the eyes. I love it for the inner corner or like doing cut creases or really detailed work but it's just not fluffy enough for a like under eye brush now if you were to put eyeliner on and smudge it out this might be perfect but 
I don't do that that often. So I, I much prefer this for like inner corner, you know, doing like touch up work and that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. You can see me do this beautiful look here with the 3502, which is a palette that I have actually been loving quite a bit and some other VIB sale goodies. And let's get into this video. Do not forget to subscribe, guys. I like always forget to say that in my intro. Please don't forget to subscribe. I love, 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 love you guys so much. And let's get into this tutorial. Try on. I don't know. Trying out right, guys, so let's dive into this. I'm so excited to show you guys this brush set because it worked so well. Like, there was literally one brush in the entire set that I was kind of like, eh, maybe not. Every other one is amazing. And it was under $100. Like, that, I, that's what I was looking for, is a brush set that was under $100. So, today, as I said in my intro, we are working with the Sephora Brush Kit. This is, and I will definitely link this product down below. I'm just going on my phone. There we are. It is the Ready to Roll Brush Set, and it is $88. That is in Canadian dollars, so in US dollars, it'll be even less. And I know for all of you cheapos like me who don't want to spend a ton on brushes, like, oh my gosh, I go on Sephora and I'm like, $24 for a brush? Are you kidding me? And yeah, I did want to do like a review on the Kat Von D brow brush. This is the 75. And yeah, that'll come later. Anyways, did I think it was worth $25? Fuck no. <laughs> Anyways, so let's go through the brushes in this set. All of these brushes are dirty. Just gonna let you know, I've been using these like crazy all week, about a week, maybe two weeks. And yeah, I am a person that loves to use sponges for my foundation. And I actually found the foundation brush in here is their complexion brush really awesome. The only thing is, is I only like to use it with cream foundations. So I'm going to use my hourglass today. Uh, I'm just, I like sponges. I'm a sponge girl when it comes to liquid foundations. And I also love a powder puff. So I'm not going to use a powder puff today because I actually think that a couple of these brushes will do pretty well with my powder application. And yeah, I'm also going to use a bunch of the products that I purchased in my VIB sale. So I hope that comes out before this does. But if it doesn't, I'm just, I'm trying really hard to get back onto my motivation of like doing videos and editing them. It is one thing for me to film a video. It is so quite another for me to actually edit and upload it. But anyway, let's get into this video. Let's put on some makeup. So I am going to just start with our foundation. No, I'm going to start with primer and I'm going to actually use two primers. I'm going to use the Hourglass Mineral Veil because obviously we're using the Hourglass and honestly this is where this first brush is going to come in. Now I would normally just use my fingers to put my primer on but today we're going to actually use this is the Sephora Concealer Brush and by the way these don't have any numbers like the normal foundi er, foundation the normal Sephora brushes so they just, it says concealer on it. I would probably not use a brush like this to put on concealer. I guess you could, but I would normally use a sponge. So today for, I'm going to just use the foundation brush to buff out my concealer because I did do that yesterday and I found it pretty good. This is the only brush that I just, I don't know, I just don't think you really need it that much. I, in my opinion, I think that some people may find this brush really helpful. If you do like a brush for your concealer, I'm just not one of those people. That's all. And then I'm also going to go in with my Milk Blur Stick. I got this in one of the holiday sets and I freaking love this blur stick. I love this. I think this is so awesome and I could definitely see myself purchasing a full size. Although I will say this is 
listen to my cat at the door. Okay, B, I'll let you out in a second. Goodness. But yeah, I'm just, I don't normally put this on my nose just because I feel like lately my nose has been really like hard to cover. I usually just focus it on the places where I have pores or wrinkles or whatever like that that I want to cover. There we go. And then I just like to pat that in with my fingertips. Just to have it set down. I'm going to go get the cat because he will go crazy if I don't. <laughs> Oh, and another thing that I really think a brush like this is good for is masking. I think that it's perfect for masking, actually, and I just noticed my skin is actually a little bit dry and a little bit red just because I have been going to the swimming pool every single day of the week. I'm going to try and go six days a week, and normally I will get on the treadmill, and then I will go swimming, and then I will go home and go to work. And yeah, the chlorine in the pool and walking home, I think it's been making me a little bit dry. But regardless, it's not too bad. And my acne is actually getting better. I don't know what's going on there, if the chlorine has anything to do with it. But yeah, we're going to go into the Hourglass Foundation and we're going to use their complexion brush, which is just like a flat brush. And I love this foundation. It's amazing. It looks great on my skin. It's not too drying. It's not too dewy. I probably use too much because people like this is supposed to be like the foundation where you only need a tiny bit. But I don't know. I think that depends on who you are. All right, so that is foundation done, and obviously I'd say it's pretty damn full coverage. I will say that this foundation doesn't wear all that long, on me at least. Now for concealer, I'm actually going to go into the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this concealer. I think that it is really great. And I think that it's a pretty good match. I don't know, I went for a little bit peachier of a shade. Because I wanted it to, and what shade do I actually have it in? Vanilla. And it was just because I really wanted to have like some of that corrector for my under eyes. Because that's what I figured I'd use this for. And it works I'm going well. to go into some cream contour and I think I'm going to use the same, oh no, I always forget about that. Shame on me. The Quickie Contour Stick by Benefit, all of them break off, including mine. So you do have to be careful of that. Like 99% of people, it ends up busting for them. So, and I'm literally going to use this same brush to do this as well. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> Oh, this is just a demonstration of the brushes. And I am going to film a few videos after this. Alright, let's just blend that out. I'm done with that brush anyway. I definitely need to do some powdering and I desperately want a sponge for under my eyes. But I'm just going to tap just like that and then we're going to actually use a combination of brushes they have this brush here which is the highlight and contour brush I'm actually going to use this to put the powder underneath my eyes then I'm going to bounce to this which is their powder complexion brush complexion brush and I'm going to use that for the rest of the face and I'm actually going to gonna 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 holy can I speak today <laughs> I'm going to go into the um 
Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. I got this at the VIB sale and I'm going to go in with Diffused Light and I am loving this in the, like, underneath the eyes. I think this is so brightening. And so amazing. Like, see? Oh, well. I know you can't really see that because it's so white outside. But just believe me. It is very pretty. And then I just set my under eye with that. And I will go back into it and go on the forehead and the bridge of the nose. And just like that. And then... I'm going to go in with, you know what, let's use this powder. This is a dollar store. This is the Mariposa Matte Powder in Soft. And I'm just going to use that all over the face. And that sets it pretty nicely without giving it too much color and ruining all that cream I did. All right, let's get up a little closer. No brows. <laughs> but yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to, should I bronze? Yeah, let's bronze now. Let's use the Physician's Formula and I'm going to go into the angled brush. I like one of these brushes for blush as well, but we might as well use it for... Did I? No, I didn't get a brush. Well, you know what? Instead of using that, why don't I use... This is the Wet n Wild Your Dragon Me Down bronzer. This bronzer is extremely thin. I've already hit pan on it, so... Needless to say, I am liking it. See, it really tans up your face, though. I think this is the darker of the two they came out with. But especially on days like this, and I'm on camera, I feel like this doesn't even look like it's tan. Like, not tan, but... Like it's bronzed, like it doesn't even look like that. It's weird. One day, maybe I will be able to get a better camera. Um, I don't know how bad this camera actually is though. In the winter time, it can get dark, but other than that, it's been pretty good. And I'm actually going to try and do a little, a little of this. Oh, 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 for a second. Let's go back into the small brush and just dust that a little bit. There we go. That's better. Oh my goodness. What are we doing? Can't believe it's snowing outside right now. Alright, and then for blush and highlight, I'm actually going to use this same brush here that I used for, what did I use this for? Setting powder? Yes. And I'm going to go into the Jouer. This is the Flirt Blush Duo. It has Kiss Me and Touch Me in it. And I got this as well. I haven't been able to use this as much, and I think I'm going to use both today. So I don't see a ton of product coming off, like, as for fallout. But there is quite a bit of product going on to my cheek. And see, like, why do I look so white? It really isn't that. See? Like, there you go. <laughs> look at that. Like, it is so much darker than it actually pulls this way. And normally when I'm filming, and then I'm just going to go into Touch Me and kind of put that on the top, kind of closer up. I think I'm going to do like a really pink eye today. I do have the 3502 I could play with, but I've been playing with this for a week now, and um, I'm really bored of 
like, you know, warm eyes right now. But there are so many shades that I still need to try. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. And then I also have, this is by Rude Cosmetics. It's the Makeup with an Attitude Fairy Tale. Oh, listen up that. And I've been trying to use as many of these as possible as well. But it's like, there's a lot of warms in here too. Like, this is ridiculous. There's some greens as well, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll throw in like the um, Kat Von D palette because I kind of, I did do two looks with that. Maybe I won't. Ugh. Anyways, so blush is on and now I'm going to do brows before highlight. And brows, I am literally going to just fast forward right through this entire thing. But you're going to be able to see me using the angled liner with spoolie brush. And it is old YouTube, an angled brush with a spoolie on it. Arder! <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do my brows and you can totally watch. I do have a video on my brows as well because I do, oh, I do stencil in my brows. It's kind of the, pro uh, the process. Yeah, it is kind of the process. And yeah, so you'll be able to see it fast forwarded, but if you want like more of a tutorial, then you can go look at that and I will try and link that up here. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, so now we're gonna jump into the eyes. So I have my, let's see here, brow brush out. One, two, three, like three brushes for eyes and a fourth if you count the concealer brush. So anyways, we're actually gonna use the Morphe 3502. But we're gonna do like a seriously fiery look today. I'm going to go totally manic and I'm gonna use this Oh, where are we? This one here, which is like totally, oh, it's not even showing how beautiful it is on camera. This is so freaking bright. This one right here. And the one beside it is such a true red shimmer. It's so pretty. But anyway, I'm going to put one of the oranges, probably this one, on the lid. And we're going to super smoke it out and it's going to look great. And then I can use a few of these like duller tones. They're just like a hundred browns so that I can get a feel for some of those before I do my review. So, um, I haven't really primed my eyes today, but there is so much concealer and foundation and all that on my face that I'm pretty sure I am good. And I'm just going to dust off this brush because as I said, I have been using it. This is their blending crease brush. And I would say it's about a medium size blending brush. I have this one from Morphe, the M441, and it's it's a fair but bit bigger. So there's your like comparison. Not a bad thing, I don't mind that, but um, if they had thrown in two, that would have been terrific. But blending brushes are hard to come by for some reason. So yeah, I'm just like putting this brulee shade from Wet n Wild all over my lid. As you can see, it's awesome. Yeah, and it's like a What should I go in with? The first thing I'm going to go in with, I think, is let's try this one. It is, let's see here, three from the top and four across. Right there. I know they have names too, I just don't have, oh, here's the sheet. Okay, I will use the sheet 
if I can get it right. There we go. So this color I am using is either brick or terracotta. No, I'm going to use terracotta. If you kept your sheet, you'll know what shade that is. And I'm going to start working that into the crease. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to go into something a little bit more deep. And the shade I'm going to go into is brick, which is a little bit more orangey, a little bit more terracotta-like. And I'm going to work that like going this way, still using that exact same blending brush. Now I'm just going to go into something a little bit darker. Let's go into Brunette, which is like a really dark brown, still on that same brush. And really tapping the excess. And then just working that right on that V there. Everybody knows what shade I want to go into. This shade is called Fire, I think. Yep. Right here. I know it looks like crap, but... I don't know, see that looks pretty good. Let's go into this. I've used this before, of course, it's like a main color in the palette, and it's pretty good. And I'm going to start working that on the inner third, or no, outer third of the eye, and kind of along that crease, just to really make things red. All right, so now I'm actually going to go in to this brush, which is the Sephora eyeshadow. Of course, it's Sephora. This is a Sephora brush set. <laughs> it's their eyeshadow brush, which is like sort of like a paddle brush. And I'm going to, hmm, I'm kind of stuck here. Do I want to deepen it even more? Let's take a little bit, and I mean a little bit of this really dark brown here on that brush and just go here so I'm just going to go in with my LA colors white stick and begin to put that on the inner corner and lid and blend it with my finger I just find that that is like the best thing to do when it comes to creams and your eyeshadows, like especially this way. Now it is going to turn a little bit pink, but that's fine. Obviously it's mixing with like a freaking red pigment on your eye. And I'm just going to go in with that blending brush one more time, dust it off so there's not like too much crazy product on it and just go over your actual crease a little bit just so that the, the uh, like the shadow doesn't stick to your crease too much because of that, like, you know, that creamy pigment or creamy stick we just put on. And I'm going to go into, oh, what is this color? I hate these palettes with the names. Oh, it is rustic. And I'm going to take that on my finger and just, oh man, that's so pretty. Oh, that's really beautiful. And I'm just kind of pushing that a little further, like kind of getting it into my inner corner a little bit. Oh, B, if anyone can hear my cat, he is not in distress. He just wants in this room because he's insane. So I'm gonna go get him and uh, we will not listen to him cry. Wow, so now that I've got that done, again, I'm going to go back into, and I need a smaller mirror to be able to say this. I'm just going to kind of blend this upper part here. Make sure there's no clumps. Oh, I am going to put something in the inner corner. Probably not from this palette. Oh, ow. That hurt a little bit. But oh, how cool is that? Oh, 
it's like a little tiny bit off but we can blend that out that always happens to me so I'm just going to just very gently buff that lower lash line a little bit and add a little bit of that orange right here and I may even actually go in holy this brush is coming in handy look at that so we're just gonna take a tiny bit of concealer because it kind of just went down like a little bit too much there and I'm just gonna dab the concealer on there and clean that up all right that's looking so much better thank goodness and I'm going to take my powder brush and really work it here oh my gosh I love this look and I know that it looks weird let's go up close it looks a little weird right now I know but I promise you with like lashes and an inner corner highlight it's going to well maybe not lashes mascara at least you guys know I don't wear a lot of lashes so yeah I think I am finished with the shadow I do want an inner corner highlight just not one from here I'm gonna have to find one um let's see here uno momento por favor I have the NARS holiday tryst palette and I'm actually gonna use that pinky highlight in there and the last brush in the set is actually this little smudger brush I would never use this for underneath my eyes it's way too way too small but I would use it as an inner corner highlight a lot of the time I end up using my fingers because I feel like sometimes it can get loose but that is brightening it's kind of a duochrome pinky shade Let's just try to wet it a little bit with our fancy Evian spray. It's almost out. <laughs> Ready? Where is my palette? Oh, here. And these, this Trist palette, it's kind of like those baked gelée formula. <clears throat> frog in my throat all right guys I'm gonna throw on some mascara um, I might put on mm, maybe not black eyeliner because that might close off my eyes a little bit but definitely some mascara and I'll be right back all right guys so here I am with mascara and I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I like this look as is. And I'm going to film a couple videos probably today. I'm going to put on the Wet n Wild. This is Redlings. It's from their Fire and Ice collection. All right, that is really cool. I know I look super, super pale, but I'm not, I swear. Like, it's just the light on the camera today. Ooh, oh, that looks so pretty. So yeah, guys, I used every brush. <laughs> and, oh no, I didn't. One sec, we're gonna highlight. You just give me one cotton pick a minute. We're gonna highlight with their highlighting fan brush. I don't think this is like super needed, but it's an amazing fan brush like it's really dense it's not too flippy floppy and I'm just looking around for a highlighter that I actually want to use this is the glow by night palette and we're gonna use that middle shade here and we're just gonna load it up on the fan brush tap a little bit Damn, that's pretty. I really glowed my cheek there. I never know the exact way to use a fan brush, but needless to say, it seems like a pretty good fan brush. 
brush. And I bet you could contour with this like really precisely if you wanted to. So yeah, here we are. We're finished. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. There are 10 in the collection, and I think this is well worth your $88. If you're looking for some higher end brushes that aren't gonna super break your bank, I think that these are pretty good. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching my videos, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever. And yeah, let's just go into like a little clip of.